And so we have to start from the finished work in the beginning. So because Jesus already finished everything, it's already done. So Jesus is not going and getting his stripes again every time somebody needs healing. It's already been done. So because we're living past Christ's death and resurrection, that means everything for the last 2,000 years plus, it's already finished. So Jesus already paid the price, and based on that price, we get to enjoy the benefits. So because Jesus paid the price, we get to live. Because Jesus paid the price, we are unforgiven. Because Jesus paid the price, we have divine health. Because Jesus paid the price, we're blessed. Because Jesus paid the price, we're righteous. So all of these things happen because they're already finished. So Jesus already completed. Everything that God was going to do is already done. So that's why we cannot say that God's going to do this or God's going to do this. It's already done. What's happening is we're coming into alignment, into agreement, into believing what is written that it's already done. And as we agree with it, believe it, and see it before it's finished, it just starts lining up. It's starting, to, it's recalibrates. And so recently um, we prayed uh, for a gentleman and I saw a really cool vision. And the vision was like this. So I saw the inside of that person and you know like how um, something is deformed, like a, a ball or something like deflated. So I saw some of those organs and some of those things, they were like deformed. And as I was praying for that person, as God's life was flowing through it, it was almost like that air going through it and everything started popping back up, like and going back into its spot. Or like, you know, when you're blowing up a boat or anything you're blowing up, you know how it starts taking its shape, going into the fullness, into its form? So I saw the same thing happening. And so for me, that was kind of like, an understanding or revelation, that's what's happening. So it doesn't matter what the devil did, when God's life touches that person or affects whatever organ or whatever it is that we're praying for, it starts going back into its fullness. Whatever the devil did, destroyed it, messed it up, deflated it, whatever, that life that God provides that is in us, that we release to other people, that's what it starts doing. It starts blowing up, starts filling up and filling up those voids and restoring to its fullness. Why? Because God created us perfect. We are created in His image. So that means every part on our body, every organ, every cell, the finished product is perfect. It's perfection. And so that's what we have to start from the finished work. It's perfection. It's been finished. It's done. And that's where we see it. And when God's life goes in, it goes back to that. Think about like if you look at a tree, for example, right? So when the tree is healthy, like when it grows, it's like it's complete. It looks beautiful. Everything's doing what it's supposed to be doing. But then if you start chopping up roots, chopping up roots, you start seeing parts of it start dying. And then when you start watering, or let's say if you don't water it for a while, but then when you start watering, over time, you start seeing everything, life starts to come back. And so just like a water is to a plant, God's life is that healing to us. And so it restores every part of it. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what the enemy ever did. It doesn't matter where the circumstances are. If we allow that life of God to flow into us, into every part of our body, it's going to go back to perfection. Why? Because that is the starting point. The starting perf point is that we are perfected. He created us perfect. And so for every person here, if there is something wrong with us, if there's something that's not right, we have to start seeing ourselves from that perfection point. We have to start seeing ourselves how we are created, and that is perfect. And as we start seeing ourselves that way, when you come up to the mirror, you start seeing yourself, instead of seeing yourself with that problem and saying, like, I have this problem, or I don't like this about myself, instead, you start seeing yourself how God created you, and that is perfect.